What is good guys, back with more Smoke on Snack Draft coverage, this is the first game of stage 2 week 1 because he's playing for the Bushmasters, managed by ABR and Tony. Um, I have no idea how to pronounce Tricking's team, so just look at the thumbnail if you want to know how his team is called. Um, turn 1 I think because he's just gonna go for Fake Out because he doesn't know anything about this Rotom yet. It's also unlikely that the Landris is gonna be Helmet on Tricking's team because Boswell is most likely um, already able to deal with Zygarde so he can afford to run offensive Landris. Not sure what the Z-move user on Tricking side is, it could be like he has so many potential Z-move users. Mega Alakazam looks like a huge threat for BKC's team. Um, and yeah, either Rotom or Landris is the Scarf on Tricking side, so he should just fake out because if Rotom stays in he gets information on it if it's potentially Scarf. And like I said, I don't think the Landros helmet, so fake out seems super free here for BKC. Um, looking at BKC's team, it's gonna have to be AV Tangros to help check Alakazam, which is a huge problem for his team. Uh, it has to be Scarf Landros, so he has something to outspeed Alakazam. Then the Tita could be Bandit to help him break. Uh, the Tran could be Lefties or Z, most likely Z, because I don't really see another potential Z move user. Because Landros just has to be Scarf on this team. And then the Pex is probably mixed defensive. And then I Mega Manage him. Uh, which is just gonna go for Fakel here most likely. Uh, Tricking stays in which tells us that he's probably Scarf. He takes that not too too well. Um, so he could either... I don't think Scarf Wisp is too common but he might have it. If he has Scarf Wisp that's a potential play. He might also just want to Volt Switch though because if he Volts on the Tang he gets momentum. Um, because he's either gonna stay in here predicting him to not go for Wisp or to not have Wisp. Because Volt Switch doesn't do that much to manage him. Or he's gonna switch out into Tangrowth. Those are the two potential plays. I don't think he would ever risk the Landris here. Um, so this Rotom might be Volts, it might also be the Defogger and the Landris could be a SD3 attacks variant. So if Rotom's the Defogger it might not have Wisp, could have Trick I guess to help with the stall matchup. So he Volts out and he doesn't even have a switch in here, I assume he just goes for a high jump kick, yeah. And that is 31, I'm gonna run a cult on the side. I'm pretty sure Zen Headbutt might be a roll from here. Um, this Boswell is probably just plus defense nature. Um, so if it's a roll, BKC might not want to risk it, he might just want to switch out onto Pax or Lando. Most likely into Pax, because I assume this is just a bulky buzzword with um, Roost, Ice Punch, uh, either Hammer Armor or Super Power, and the last move could be either Earthquake, Poison Jab or Leech Life, I'm not sure. But yeah, Medicham is really good in this game, especially if Tricking uh, Zam doesn't have Recover. Fake out from Medicham can probably bring it into Scarf Landra's range. Um, so BKC, BKC should not risk this. I'm pretty sure it's a roll. Um, I think Zen Headbutt is 69 to 82. Uh, that's at least to the spread that Shodan OU usage has, which is Impish 48, defense on the Buzzwool. Um, so it's Tricking gonna go for. I think Tricking is just either gonna Leech Life or Ice Punch. Like, I guess he could also off quick breaking the packs. Um, yeah, I don't think he's gonna pull a double here because he has no switch into the manage gem. So in case because he stays in, Tricking might just have to go for the best move. He has to hit the manage gem. Like I said, Zen Headbutt is looking to be a roll most likely. Because um, with the same spread that I have in the car kit, high jump kick would have done 28 to 33 and it's 31. And Zen Headbutt does 69 to 82. So this roll. Um, might be barely in Tricking's favor if he's the same spread. So because he doesn't want to risk it, switches into packs. Now Tricking is gonna um, switch into either his Tran, Chansey, or Alakazam. Um, we could see a Scald or a Toxic here. We could also see a double into Landris. I think double into Landris would have also been good as it covers um, the Tran and the Zam to come out. Now he's either gonna get go for Rocks or go for Magnus Storm here. Throws up the Rocks. Um, because he has a few options here. Tricking is obviously gonna switch out here into either Rotom. Landris or Buzzwall because he's either gonna defog or U-turn or Earthquake as he defogs. Now he's forced back into his packs. Tricking could pull a double here predicting the packs to come out knowing that this Landris is locked into Scarf defog as he doubles into Heatron which is a good play and because he's forced to switch out into either Landris or Tita because he cannot... I don't think he wants to, the packs to get trapped. Now he's just gonna switch into Buzzwall I think because Buzzwall should definitely be running speed to outpace defensive... I mean not out defensive, to outpace Ban Tita. You don't only need a little bit of speed on Buzzwall, like 100 something EVs I think. And you still get a lot of bulk. I see Earthquakes there, so he predicted them to stay in, um, predicting BKC to predict the Pursuit. And he was fearing I guess a potential will wisp or potential Toxic uh, if Tricking stayed in. So makes a good double there breaking the packs. Now, um, I might pull a double again here if I'm tricking because Pex can live any one hit. And there, like, he could also U turn. He earthquakes, okay. He earthquakes, breaking him to stay in. Now, um, this is still fine for tricking because he's not choice scarf. And because he's most likely just gonna defog to get rid of these rocks. Um, so, if he's offensive, Landers, um, he's either gonna HP ice or SD. I was gonna say, if he's offensive, he's gonna SD. If he's a bulky, then he can HP ice. But he turns out to be SD Z move, most likely. 
Um, so the earthquakes they are potentially predicting BKC to go into either the Tren or the Titar in case BKC tried to go into those on a Sky Strike because they can resist it and barely live it. Um, though I still think they would have taken a lot from the Z move. Um, and this is probably Sky Strike, and yeah, Tango is just gonna go down. I mean, he didn't really have a switch in for that. He's just willing to give up the Tang. Now he can go Medicham and force out the Landers with the Ice Punch. Um, Tricking still wants to keep the Landers around. He might just have to sec the Buzzwall here um, because Ice Punch should bring the Buzzwall in range to die from Zen Headbutt. Yeah, this is definitely in range now. So he's gonna Zen Headbutt here. Tricking is either gonna pray for the dodge. Like he doesn't have great pivots because Alakazam is bad defense. Um, Tren is definitely not Scarf on this team because he already was Scarf Rotom. So he pivots into Landris, okay, and he dodges, that sucks a lot, because now Ice Punch does not kill and because he's forced to switch out here, um, I guess into his own Landris, he might also go into his packs predicting a U-turn, um, Tricking can potentially pull a double anticipating that, he doubles into Alakazam, though if this Alakazam doesn't have recover and if it doesn't have bulk investment, because we have seen a lot of timid max max speed Alakazams lately to outpace, um, to speed up with opposing Zam and to outpace Mega Low Pony, um, as he switches, so he probably doesn't have does not have bulk on Alakazam. So Medicham can just uh, click Zen Headbutt here, and let's see if he can connect as Zen Headbutt this time, which will um, put Landers into range from Ice Punch as he misses again. Um, this is really annoying for BKC. He missed twice already. Um, does he double break into Landers to come out? He doubles, but into Heatran. I'm not sure what he predicted there, because now he's probably forced to switch out. Um, because he's either going to Earthquake or U-turn here. The reason why you would Earthquake is in case this has Protect. But the way Tricking played it so far, I don't think he has Protect, so he could have... I think he could have just U-turned. I don't think he has Protect, because he also hard switched the Tren out of the Tita earlier. Because if you have Protect, you would click it on the Tita to scout what it locks into. So he goes many there. I think he predicted the Ice Punch. I don't think he predicted the Roost. Because Roost means he... he like, he would have lived the Ice Punch. But now that the Buzzwall roosted it up, um, it can definitely live as an headbutt, so BKC doesn't want to stay and he just goes, yeah, back into Buzzwall. And Tricking is either going to switch into like Chen's here or Heatran here. I don't think he wants to go hard Alakazam on a potential Toxic, uh, because he already revealed Toxic. Makes a good double there into Landris, which would have covered the Zam and the Tren. Uh, Tricking doesn't want to stay in here, I assume BKC is going to go for U-turn this time, because he um, like kind of sees how Tricking is playing. Kind of has to get some momentum back, he has been getting hexed, he missed two moves already. And... Um, yeah, because he might just go get his rocks up here. He could also go for the Z move, anticipating the Alakazam to come out. Um, I think Roxy is the fine play because it gets you something out of the turn, but he goes for hard fire. He too tricking, calm down hard into Heatran on the Z move. And um, I was gonna say we can probably see them exchange Earth powers here, but because he gets up the rocks, and um, now he takes the Earth power. I assume tricking. Yeah, tricking gets up his rocks. Uh, tricking still wants to keep this as far. Exactly, he goes in the Chansey and. Can eat up that off power and now he can go for S toss or he can also try to go for a south polar of wish as he goes for wish. And he can either seismic toss here or he can pass the wish into like Rotom, I guess, because Rotom is already has taken a fake out from Medicham, which means it's at like 60 after rocks. As he does pass into Rotom. Knows that Rotom is like one of the ones that could come out and take the wish and he goes for toxic. You could see a Volt Switch here from Tricking, we could also see a Heart Switch if he doesn't want to risk Volting into Landris. But I think Volt Switch is a fine play here, he doubles into Chansey. Um, maybe in case this has Baneful Bunker, he didn't want to Volt Switch, or in case Landris came out. So um, I was gonna say he could just softball, but he S tosses instead. Um, he might just soft have to softball, we could see the Tita come out, we could also see the Medi come out, breaking the softball as Medi does come out. And I think he just clicks um, high jump kick here. And he tricking just sacks the Landris because the Landris is in range to die from rocks anyway. And he has no good switch ins to Medicham, so there's no reason to risk switching anything else in. That's exactly why he switched the Tren out when it was almost dead and pivoted into the Chansey, because he wanted to keep it as a sack, which is obviously a great, good play on Tricking's end. So he goes on a Zam, and now BKC might just have to sack his Heatran, which also already took an off power and is quite low. I think it's at 14%. I don't remember exactly, but it's like super not healthy. It's like not healthy at all. Um, so this Zam, what does he go for here? Yeah, I assume this is definitely Psychic Shadow Ball Focus Blast, and the last, last move could be Recover. Um, but the way it has been played, it might also not have Recover. It might have another coverage move, or it might have Calm Mind. Um, because he's not gonna stay in here because Medicham is still important. Like it kind of gets kills every time it comes in on like Buzzwall if Buzzwall is in range of Zen Headbutt and if he can finally keep like start hitting his Zen Headbutts. He was really unlucky in this match so far, which sucks a lot. Like I want to see a quality game. I don't want to see doubles and Headbutt miss. Like what is this garbage? Um, but yeah, he has no switches to Zen, so he's just gonna sack the Tren here and afterwards. He can then go into Scarf Landris as Tren lives on one. 
Um, what does Tricking go for? Psychic, maybe? Goes for Calm Mind. Um, so now he's gonna just be able to Psychic or Shadow Ball, probably Psychic, to pick off the Tran. And then because he can... Uh, it's because his Landris is max attack, which it might be, um, since it's not intimidated, it can definitely scatter the Alakazam out afterwards uh, with a U-turn or off quick. He will probably go Lando and U-turn after, because he shouldn't off quick into a potential boss with Rotom or Landris. He should definitely um, always U-turn here when he goes Landris, as he does go Landris. And yeah, tricking is not gonna stay in because his Alakazam kind of just wins at this point if he plays it correct. So he off quicks there. Maybe U-turn didn't kill them, and he was hoping for tricking to misplay and stay in. Um, so now he's forced to Pex again. Does Tricking double predicting that or does he just attack? He just attacks to get some health back, um, which helps him stay out of range from Medichim's and Headbutt, or at least make it so Zen Headbutt is a roll. Well, if he takes Rocks again, I think he's still in range from Zen. No, no, it's still a roll. He's at 76 and Zen does like 69 to 82 if he's the spread that is in the cult. So Tricking's gonna switch here. Um, let's see if because he wants to pull a double into Medichim breaking the Chansey here. Um, or. I don't know, I think because he has to make some plays, because he double, he missed Zen Headbutt twice, which put him in a really bad position. Uh, tricking also made some fire plays, I don't want to take away from that. Hard land on Z-Fire was, pr hard heat on Z-Fire was pretty hard. And they also made some cool doubles earlier on, uh, they put him in a good position for sure. Um, tricking might also just go on to Alakazam to trace region. Yeah, I guess, yeah. I guess that's why... Does he double into Landris predicting that? Double into Medicham, yeah. Yeah, double into Medicham, which predicts the Chansey. And it still covers the Alakazam in the sense that you get a fake out on the Alakazam, which puts it in range from the next fake out, puts it in guaranteed range from U-turn. So this was not too bad for BKC. Like, it was still bad for him, but it was not the end of the world. Though, I don't know if he has to can win this game at all, because he needs the Medi, and he does not have a sack anymore, because he kind of needs all the Mons at this point. He cannot just throw everything out. I think he has to go teeter and then hope that he misses, uh, that he dodges a focus blast, which he um, should. He deserves a focus blast dodge because he already missed two and headbutts. Mm. Um, I think tricking either clicks shadow ball here or I don't know if tricking is gonna focus blast here breaking the teeter. Um, you can say technically you can click focus blast because then. He gets two chances to hit the Tita and not only one chance. Like, because he cannot really afford to go into the Landris because the Landris is already chipped a little bit and rocks are up. And there's also a chance he might, like, Psychic or Shadow Ball here. And so, like, I really don't think he ha can afford to pivot into Landris. He might, he just has to go Tita and um, Tricking can either Psychic or Shadow Ball and then he has to hit a Focus Blast the next turn. Or if he's wild, he hard Focus Blast and then he gets two chances to hit the Tita. Because I think the Landris is at... 76 which means that like 64 after the rocks which means psychic would just destroy the landris so there's no way because he's ever gonna go hard landris here i definitely think he just has to go tita and hope for the dodge um i mean the safest play for tricking is just going for psychic or shadow ball probably psychic but if he's an aggressive wild one he might also focus blast because that gives him two chances hitting the focus blast on the titar <laughs> but I'm, I'm not sure what i would do here um, going for Focus Blast seems like a bit risky, I might just go for Psychic here if I'm tricking. And then I would just say, okay, let me train my Alakazam, let me hit this Focus Blast. Because I don't know. I don't know if I would like have the... the like. I don't know the correct term for it, but I don't think I would be able to click anything else other than Psychic or Shadow Ball. Um, probably Psychic in this scenario. <laughs> Even if it's kind of obvious that he's gonna go hard Tita and you can break it in Focus Blast, if he stays in, you kind of just lose. So, do you just lose? I mean, you're really in a really good you're in a really bad position if you go for focus blast and the Medi stays in. So, I think I would just click psychic here, and then um, I would just pray that I hit the next focus blast. I don't think I would hard focus blast the Titar, uh, but I'm not sure they're taking quite the time here. Thinking about it, um, because he doesn't really have a play, he just has to go Tita and hope for the dodge, because he cannot afford to stack anything. Like I said, Landris is at 64 after the rocks, so it can't really come in. Um, on a potential psychic, it would just get destroyed by that. I guess if he, I guess he could potentially go land a breaking a focus blast, but it's like I'm, I don't know if he's gonna focus or if he's gonna do psychic. Hard focus blast. Okay. Oh, okay. It's AV Tar. I thought it was Bantar. My bad, guys. Dude, I'm I'm actually I should have ran the I should have ran the calc earlier. 
that makes a lot of sense because this team is really, really, really weak to Alakazam. Okay, so now it all makes sense why Tricking made that play. Because he actually had to hit two Focus Blasts to kill the Tita. I was thinking the Tita is banded. Um, obviously, Alakazam is in range to die from Fake Out. He knows that and switches out on the Buzzwell. Um, Fake Out is still. The, I was gonna say Fake Out still puts it in Zen Headbutt range, but because he makes a good play going for hard Zen Headbutt, knowing that Tricking is not gonna stay in. Okay, I messed up there. Like, I, I was just saying, like, because his team is so weak to Alakazam, I didn't even think about the Tita being AV on this team. Like, that's that's a thing, a set that has been used quite a bit, actually. So, yeah, Landris is just gonna U-turn here. Um, Tricking has this one wrapped up. Um, he can probably go to his own Landris and sack it. He can also potentially sack the Zam. Okay, he goes in his own Landris. I assume we just see a U-turn here into Medicham. And if Zen Headbutt kills, he can go for that. Otherwise, he has to go for... Maybe Ice Punch. Um, yeah, he just hard Ice Punches, and now Alakazam comes out and clicks Psychic. Or oh, Shadow Ball. No, he just clicks Psychic, no reason to click anything else. Damn, I messed up really quick there. Um, I really didn't... <laughs> I forgot about AV Alakazam. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Like, looking at Team Preview, I was thinking he's, like, so weak to it. I guess he at least has AV Tank to check it, and Lando is what I was thinking. I did not think about AV Tita. Um, that was my bad. But yeah, Chansey just wins the game now for tricking... He wished uh, he could have also softballed, it didn't make a difference. Um, I thank you guys for watching, this is the first match um, of the, I don't know how to pronounce them, Astro something, the Melodics, I'm gonna call them the Melodics, they are up 1-0 as the Bushmasters now. And uh, I also still recorded all of the games from BKC and Tricking from Smoke and Snake Drift Phase 1, so you guys can also expect that in the next um, days or weeks. So stay tuned for that, thank you for watching, and yeah, he obviously f had to, he kinda had to Focus Blast, like it changes things. Like it made a lot of sense for him to go for Focus Blast, anticipating the Tita to come out, because because he kinda had, because he had to go Tita and hope for a miss. I just didn't think he was AV, but it makes a lot of sense looking at the team that he would be AV, so I just messed that one up. And the yeah, Tricking made the correct play then, I just didn't think about AV. Thank you guys for watching and peace out friends.